Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. When we talk about the Flat Earth and make comparisons with the Globe Earth heliocentric idea, or model as it were, it's often assumed that when we look up at the moon we're seeing a spherical moon. It's understandable that there is a certain logic to assuming that, and it's also understood why it might appear logical to assume that the, the, the globe Earth is just another planet with another moon, just as we look up and we see moons orbiting what appear to be spherical planets, such as, such as Jupiter. Except that our moon appears to be tidally locked. So there's really no need to try and educate the flat earther, the crazy flat earther on the things we already know that we are supposed to know about what the moon is and of course it would appear to be obvious given that uh, we apparently went to the moon, the royal we, three men in a metal capsule went to the moon on our behalf and it was seen on TV so it's probably one of the strongest arguments for the, again, what would appear to be a logical assumption that the science is there to prove that we live on a spinning sphere. And it's obvious that the Earth is a sphere with a, a moon going around it, just like all the other planets that we see up there. Totally understandable that it's uh, something quite difficult to detach from. I mean, if it wasn't for the, the belief that men have landed on the moon, then perhaps Flat Earth wouldn't be such a tough and difficult uh, thing to digest or take on board or consider even these days. But of course it's like, you know, the globe is a done deal. And us globe deniers and flat earth researchers are just far too crazy and out there to even be given the time of day. One of the most ridiculous arguments that's, that's definitely so easy to debunk when it comes to observations of the moon and the idea that it can only be seen the way it is seen on a spherical earth, earth is that if we look uh, at the moon north of the equator or from one direction north of the equator and then we look up at the moon uh, from south of the equator of course the moon appears to be upside down than it is to the other location and it's assumed that this is only possible on a globe but really if anyone just uh, gets a piece of paper and draws a moon on it puts it on their floor or even puts it on their ceiling and stands either side of their room as if the with the with the uh, the moon in the middle then you'll see that we simply can be on a flat surface looking up at the moon from different directions and it will appear as it appears to us in the sky. Sorry. However, the moon's appearance certainly doesn't dictate that it's a sphere. It may appear spherical, but uh, I like to play around with the idea that it uh, could be concave. How and why? I have no idea. I have no theories on that. But the observations that we make of the moon could well dictate that it's possibly concave. In, in fact, it fits better than the idea that it's spherical. Of course, if uh, the moon is spherical and it's reflecting sunlight, then we don't see this spotlight of reflection as we do with convex surfaces. In that case, a concave surface would, would appear to be
be a better explanation for this full covering of light if the moon is in fact reflecting sunlight. I don't necessarily believe it is because I've done moonlight temperature tests and as far as I'm concerned moonlight does chill things quicker than things left in the moon shade. It does appear to be a different kind of light. But if we compare observations of the moon with things that we can see on the earth that are concave, it kind of makes sense. When we look at the moon, it doesn't matter where we are on the earth, we always see the same features, the same parts of the moon are visible to us. Whereas if we were looking at a spherical moon from different locations on the earth, then surely considering the moon is supposed to be much, much smaller than the Earth. We should actually see different parts if we were in an extreme southern location compared to an extreme northern location, then those two observers should, in fact, see slightly more of the, the side of the moon on on their side if it was spherical, but we don't. We see exactly the same features. So that's why if you look at uh, a, a concave mask and know that when we look at a concave mask, whether if that mask is rotating or we move to walk past that mask, the, the eyes in the mask appear to follow us. The features of the mask appear to follow us and that's that's quite intriguing and quite a similar comparison to what we see if we look up at the moon we we see the same features again I have no explanation or no theories on why the moon should be concave I'm just saying it, it fits it's comparable to observations of other objects that are concave and the fact that we can be looking at the some a concave mask like this from an extreme angle either side opposing angles as it were opposing points of perspective and each observer would see what would appear to them to be a convex mask eyes and nose that appear to them to be pointing outwards towards them. And if we'd never seen the other side of the moon then we just we just wouldn't know, would we? We just wouldn't know. But of course we we are told that the moon is tidally locked and we never see the other side or the other face of the moon, etc. You know, we know all the stories, we know all the so-called scientific explanations that go along with it. But that doesn't make them true, just because we see other spherical objects in the sky with moons going around them. Doesn't automatically mean we have to assume that the Earth is just another planet with another moon going around it. A concave moon would also allow us to explain I've put the, the phases of the moon you can see. with just some um, slight tilting and then a concave moon or object would create its own shadow. There's no need for it to be a sphere. Just a slight tilt will give us a shadow. So that works too. That's two things that we can observe with concave surfaces that we can also see when we look up at the moon. Whereas there is nothing really to dictate about the surface of the moon itse itself that it's convex again only the assumption that we are looking at a sphere in the sky but the reality is the honest observation or interpretation of the observation is that we simply cannot tell for sure whether or not the the moon is a sphere and it could quite easily be something concave it could
could be some kind of reflection. Who knows? Who knows? The point is we simply do not know. But of course we... It would appear that we would know because, as I said, people appear to have been to the moon and come back and landed on its surface. But yeah, just wanted to share that really, just wanted to share this observation that we can make of concave masks that appear to be convex and we can apply this to observations of the moon or we can certainly consider it as a possibility regardless of what we might think or believe the moon to be from what we've been repeatedly told just food for thought thank you for allowing me to share that